Hey, what up? Welcome back to my channel and your video. Welcome. How's your day going? Your night going? I hope everything is awesome. Welcome to the week of Japanese Urban Legends. So I'll be uploading every day this week. Like I said, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I like a beach on Facebook. <laughs> oh my god. If you don't, you totally should, by the way, because I always like share everything there. Like, if I'm gonna do something, like a series or whatever, and if I can't post, I just like, I tell you guys everything there. So, yeah. But this week is all about Japanese urban legends. Because as you know, they're my favorite, and I've noticed that they're your favorite too. Maybe not all of you, but a lot of you love those. So, yeah, welcome to day one. Tonight's legend is pretty interesting, and I don't think people talk about this legend as much. So yeah, maybe you haven't heard of it before. Anyway, before we get started though, I just wanna say that if you're new here, I'll post some videos every week, every week, every week. I just post a lot. And I'm gonna start doing this um, week thing. What should we call that? I don't know, but like where I upload videos every day on a specific topic. More often, I can promise like every month. I don't know, I'm gonna try, but you know. Yeah, this is a paranormal channel. Talk about spooky things all the time. Urban legends, haunted objects, ghost stories, everything. You name it. Everything and anything to do with the paranormal. And just like horror in general, it doesn't have to be paranormal. So yeah, I would love it if you could go ahead and subscribe and become part of this little spooky bell fam. Also don't forget to like button because that really helps the channel and it shows my videos to other people. Now if you want to hear all about this spooky urban legend, just go ahead, turn off your lights, and stick around. Hario Nago is a black-haired woman who wanders around the streets in Japan, especially roads. Late at night, of course, she's always looking and stalking young men. That's like what she wants. And if she's talking a specific guy and he shows her that he thinks she's pretty, he doesn't even have to say anything. Just like the way he looks at her or whatever. If she notices for a split second that the guy thinks she's attractive, then my dear, He's gone. Okay, so let's say this guy sees the Hario Nago out in the streets in the middle of the night and he's like, mm, she's cute. And so she looks at him and smiles at him and like, that's when the dude is just like, gone, bye bye. If he smiles back, that is. She's got hooks, like little hooks at the end of her hair and she will stick those into the dude's clothes and flesh, trapping him and he won't be able to move. She will then use the hooks to cut the dude into little pieces. She absolutely hates men. And what makes this legend even creepier is the fact that for decades, men in like small villages have been attacked by something that kills just like that. And some of them, the ones who escaped, the ones that weren't chopped into little pieces, they describe the attack. And it really sounds like Harionako. They all say it was a beautiful woman that they thought was harmless and just like really sweet and just like, you know, friendly. But then after she smiles at them, they smile back and then that's when she attacks them. So yeah, the dudes who survived this thing in the villages, they claim that Harionako did it. However, if you don't smile at her, she'll leave you alone. Yes, it's that easy. <laughs> but what if it's just someone who smiles at you and then you don't smile back? That would be rude. But yeah, just in case. Don't. And what's really interesting is that, just like a vampire, she cannot enter your home if you don't invite her. Like if you manage to just run away from her and go to your house and lock the door, you're good. She will scratch the hell out of your door though to try and get you to open it, but you shouldn't. Just saying. And this whole thing is really interesting that like she cannot enter your home. She's not even a vampire, but she cannot enter if you don't invite her, like that's so cool. So I'm just like, I love vampires. That reminds me of vampires. Anyway, so it is said that this creature was once human, a young woman who was murdered brutally by a man. And that's how she became this ghoul thing. And she only appears at night, of course, which again, is kind of like vampires. She's a very vengeful creature though, extremely pissed off. And she absolutely hates men, like I saw before. So if you see a woman, in the middle of the night, like if you're in Japan or whatever, on the road, and she smiles at you. My friend, do not smile at her because that could be Harionago. I don't know. I'm just kidding, but who knows? So what do you guys think? Have you ever heard of this thing before? Because I have not. Not before this video, of course. Before I did research and everything. And I thought it was really interesting because like I said, I don't see many people talking about this on YouTube. Not even articles on the internet, so yeah. I'm reading a nerve legend fresh out of the oven, <laughs> I hope. 
anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of Japanese Urban Legends. My favorite, your favorite, I hope. If not, <laughs> I don't know. I'll be uploading every day starting today, as you know, until Saturday. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for taking the time you to just watch this video and let me know what you think of this little serious thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call that, honestly. But yeah, thank you so much again and I'll see you soon for my next video. Doodles!